Hello everybody. So I was able to get my hands on this Spark Fun Inventors Kit uh, recently. And I've been trying to get a hang of how it works and just been following tutorials online. And uh, I just want to show you what I have come up with after following those tutorials. And that is this. Now the kit comes with the Arduino Uno microprocessor or microcontroller board and this breadboard right here, a bunch of wires, actually this, all this bunch of stuff right here and um, again I was following tutorials and then just after following them a few I decided to make something of my own and uh, there it is uh, this is actually based on one of the one of the tutorials and I believe it's the fade or something along those lines um, but yeah, I have two LEDs and they're just blinking sequentially. One would light up while the other one would dim and vice versa. Uh, and actually I connected this potentiometer here and if I turn it, the it actually acts like a volume control for the speaker right over here. And the speaker is pulsating along with the yellow light, as you can hear. Yeah, and that's because it's actually connected right over here. Um, it's hard to see on the board, so I actually drew up a schematic on on the, on the computer. And there we go. Used Circuit Lab, and I just found it online and kind of used to draw this out. I'm not sure if it's entirely accurate um, in terms of how where the voltage actually goes, but uh, that's my wiring for the for the board. Um, you have the Arduino Uno controller right over here. Pins 9 and 10 is what I'm using to send a, sig send a signal to the LEDs. I put a resistor in front of them as well. Um, and so here's the input and then it goes to the ground right over here also have the speaker, I know this is not a speaker and a diagram, but that's where the speaker is on my board and it's connect, connect to a potentiometer right here so I have the input coming in still from number pin 9 that's split over here, it goes to the potentiometer um, it's grounded as well um, and then the middle pin is used for the speaker which is also grounded so yeah, that's that's the uh, whole circuit in general. And uh, so I guess I'll just go over the code that I used to make this work. So again, this is based on one of the um, tutorials, so much of the code was already written. I just had to edit it to fit my board. I have some variables set up here, and the descriptions are, on the, are to the right. Commented out, just these are the pins. This is like the brightness of the initial brightness, um, fade amount and delay amount. Um, well actually, this is not the initial brightness; it's the brightness value in general. It's like a constant, and then this is the initial brightness of the LEDs. And then we have the loop that goes through the whole thing over and over and over. Set the brightness of the pins initially, and then. We change it the brightness for the next uh, the next iteration, so the red would increase, but the yellow would decrease. And then an if statement to reverse the direction once they hit um, the maximum or the minimum. So we just uh, switch up the fade amount from negative to positive. And in the end, we just uh, do a little delay a function that would stop the board from doing anything and just wait and that uh, delay is 15 milliseconds without it it will just go really really quickly um, I mean the flashing of the lights so right now this is how it flashes and let me just set that to 100 for example and you guys see what's uh, what's the difference is or 150 just to make it easier just upload
So this is with 150 delay time. So yeah, there we go. That is the circuit that I built based on the fate tutorial circuit. Uh, pretty simple, but uh, it was fun to build, and I hope to build some more in the future, post some videos on that. Other than that, uh, that's about it for me, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.